Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for April 16th through the 30th, 2023. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome if you are new. I am back to doing the 12 individual readings. Thank you for being flexible with me on the last couple readings, especially my last video. I know the audio was not that good and there was a lot of distractions. So hopefully you were able to take, you know, something away from that message that resonated with you. Um, we're also fully in eclipse season now. So we have the first total solar eclipse at the new moon in Aries, which will be on April 19th. Also, for those of you who don't know, I am a full-time master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it does not matter where you live. I have clients all around the world and we do schedule according to your time zone. The link below to my website has all the information available for you, as well as a 15% discount off your very first session or as a first time client with me. So you can take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Um, um, otherwise, we are going to get into the readings. Hello, Sagittarius. Again, this is your reading for April 16th through the 30th. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, any placement of Sagittarius. Let's get you guys an overall energy. Oop, there it is. Okay, you've got the hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. This is a beautiful message for you, Sagittarius, because I feel like it gives you permission to let go of trying to control the outcome of certain things. And it asks you to really trust and surrender the process of things. So it's also acknowledging that spirit, the universe, God, whatever that higher power is to you, that it may know more than you do or have more to offer than our limited minds allow us to imagine, right? So letting spirit be your guide can really be you surrendering to allow in all the blessings and miracles into your life that are meant for you, that are possible for you. And with us being in eclipse season, it's another um, opportunity to just really be open to what we're being shown right now of what we need to release, what we need to let go of, uh, what we need to give more focus and attention to so that we can be more aligned and on our highest and best path. So let spirit be your guide. I love that as your overall energy. All right, let's get you the other cards out. I've already fully shuffled. Let's see here. There it is. Okay, second row is your specific person, Sagittarius. Your specific person. What do we need to know about their energy? What do we know about their energy? Oops, all right. And third row is any clarifying messages for you. And we'll take those. Okay, wow. First up, starting with two major arcana cards. Look at this. We've got the star and the sun with you in the middle, Sagittarius. I love this. The queen of wands right there in the middle. So the star card is very much about healing, rest, rejuvenation, um, coming back to ourself, getting in alignment with our true north. And this card has really come out in almost every reading today. So there I feel is something happening collectively where we're really being given the opportunity to make the changes to get onto our highest and best path, whatever that means for you. And the star card is stepping in to really help us to have that balance on the inside so that we can have the balance on the outside. You notice one foot in the water, one foot on the earth. You've got the star kind of shining the way here. And there's just a lot of serenity and peace on this card. So a lot of healing happening I'm hearing Sagittarius for you, there's a lot of healing happening on like a spiritual level, on a, a higher knowing level, a wisdom level. So that part of yourself that maybe you don't always tune into or, or tap into, and that could be why your overall energy is let spirit be your guide, is that you're stepping more into trusting that energy and allowing that to be an equal part of you as the mental energy, as the emotional body, as the physical body really embracing um, that spiritual body of yours. And then the sun card on the other side just brings joy, happiness, playfulness. It really shines a light into anywhere that things have been hidden 
or in the shadows, so to say. Um, so you may get some messages or some clarity around a person or a situation or something that you've been a little bit in the dark about. I see like new details coming to the surface or to the light um, for you to know about. And with you as this Queen of Wands in the middle, I see you here just receiving, receiving what the universe is bringing you, receiving the healing, receiving the messages and the information, and you are in a really um, grounded place within yourself to allow the blessings to come in. And I think that's really beautiful, Sagittarius. So with those cards, uh, you could be dealing with a Leo, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, or you've got other fire energy. So another Sagittarius or a Leo or a, um, an Aries, okay? Second row, or I already mentioned Leo with the sun. So the sun is strong Leo, the star is strong Aquarius, okay? So it could be an Aries um, also that you're dealing with, okay? For those of you with a specific person, already dealing with a specific person, this is what we needed to know or need to know about their energy. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Two of Wands. Okay, immediately here, Sagittarius, I am seeing that your specific person has been neglecting their emotional needs and being more focused on the physical, on their money, on the more like 3D aspects of themselves and their life. And I'm seeing this five of cups here as a little bit of a disconnect from what is possible between you and them in this partnership. So I'm, I'm noticing the focus here on these three spilled cups. Um, they're not really taking care of their emotions, okay? Cups do represent our emotions because back here is the connection, these two full cups that are there that are fully intact, that are upright, and your specific person is distracted and they're not able to see the true connection that is here between you and them. So with the two of wands energy, I feel that they are gonna get to a point where they're gonna realize they need to make a decision about this relationship, about this connection, if they wanna move forward, if they want to step away, um, which I feel is actually positive because whatever the answer is, it's gonna bring um, some movement. I'm seeing that things have been a little bit stagnant between you and your specific person here with this Five of Cups energy. Uh, they can also be stuck in the past, like a little bit holding a grudge or stuck on something that's happened between the two of you that really doesn't matter anymore, but they're holding on to it uh, for the need to be right or, you know, excuse me, whatever it is for them. And with the Queen of Pentacles energy, this is where I'm seeing like the back is turned to these cups. They're just like so focused on this pentacle here. So for me, I see this as they're they're not really giving their emotions uh, the attention that is needed, especially to be in like a healthy partnership. So just something to note for you there. But I do see there's gonna be a decision here. So I do see action happening or coming from your specific person in regards to this connection, Sagittarius. Um, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Uh, also water, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. And then I've got more fire showing up here. So Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries with extra emphasis on the Leo. Okay, third and final row, clarifying messages for you. All right, here it's coming all together. We've got Eight of Wands, Nine of Swords, King of Wands. So actually really like this, Sagittarius. You were the Queen of Wands in the first row, which was really receiving, you were leaning back, you were allowing. And I, I'm feeling with some of the situations that are popping up for you, you're moving out of that kind of leaned back energy and you're stepping more into your masculine energy to make change, to make a decision, to handle something, because this King of Wands is facing dead forward towards this Nine of Swords and Eight of Wands. Nine of Swords can be fear, anxiety. It's something that is in our mind that we're not fully dealing with yet. And it's keeping us up at night. It's driving us crazy. Um, but what it needs is attention. And it needs to be talked about. And it needs to be expressed and communicated. So Sagittarius, if this has to do with your specific person or a work situation or a family member, it needs to be dealt with. Otherwise, you're going to be taking on this energy, which you don't need to. 
If you take on this energy, that is a personal choice, a little bit of self-induced suffering here because this Nine of Swords energy is really intense in the thoughts and the thinking. And it does distract us from feeling good, from resting, uh, from being connected with ourself. However, with the Eight of Wands here, I do see movement and action taking place here. So you've got action coming from your side with the King of Wands and you've got action coming uh, from the other side here with the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands does bring messages, it brings communication, it can also bring travel and uh, movement, like a physical amount of movement or change uh, that can really help bring clarity. So I do see action and movement happening for you, Sagittarius, which is going to feel good. And I saw that similar message coming through from your specific person too. So I would say anything that's been a little bit stagnant is going to start to move a bit here and I mean energetically move so there's going to be a shift a change awareness is going to come in uh, messages are going to come in etc et and all the while Sagittarius you will be letting spirit guide you okay so that is kind of the the secret sauce to what is coming up here Okay, so again, we've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, strong Leo, also Aries and other Sagittarius, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And we've also got, I already said air, Aquarius, but also Gemini and, and Libra. Okay, those are the main signs that are coming through for you. Let me see if there's any other messages. Yes, beautiful. You've got emerging. So this is, to me, kind of coming, um, whatever's been stuck or repressed is emerging out so that there can be more peace and serenity in and around you. So this emerging is actually a sign of growth. It's a sign of release. It's a sign of letting go. And um, if you look at the energy on, the, on this card, it's quite peaceful and it's quite serene. So as you are letting spirit be your guide, I see this as, you know, the opportunity to feel more of that peace and contentment because you feel safe knowing that you are taken care of no matter what. Okay, let's get you a spirit animal message and then we will wrap up the reading. All right, you've got eagle spirit mastery. Oh, I love this. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. See what we were talking about here? Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. This is beautiful, Sagittarius, because it's kind of you coming back into your power. I mean, you guys are masters at at your energy, at what you're doing. And I, I just always feel Sagittarians have just a very grounded yet fierce energy to them. And the eagle is confirming that. So you've got the eagle with mastery and you've also got the hawk with spirit being your guide. So a lot of um, bird energy. I'm seeing a message here around like a bird's eye view into your life as well that can help you to not get stuck on tiny details, but seeing the grander, bigger picture. All right, you've got the eagle spirit uh, protecting you all the way through the end of April, Sagittarius. So I think that's all that's coming through. I hope this resonates with you. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, uh, Venus, your Jupiter, any other placement of Sagittarius. Thank you for your likes, subscribes, and comments. They really do make a difference for the channel, and I love responding to all of your comments, so thank you for that. If you missed the intro, I am a full-time master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it does not matter where you live. We do schedule according to your time zone. So no worries on that. The link below to my website has all the information available for you. Uh, you can read about the distance energy healing and therapy, uh, what it can do and how it can help you. And you'll also see there is a 15% discount off your very first session with me or as a first time client. So you are welcome to take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Otherwise, Sagittarians, I'm wishing you a beautiful um, finish to April and I will see you guys back here for the second or for the first half of May readings. Take care.